you can strongly tell, yeah, I'm a Lord Bones, and this is the next episode of The Witcher 3 Let's Play, which I'm going to go through the entire story and hopefully try to make sure people actually understand the story, because it doesn't, although you don't necessarily need to listen to the previous stuff or read the books or anything like that, it doesn't necessarily tell you everything that you necessarily need to know. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to Vesemir, and we're going to go kill this griffin so that the warden, what was it called? That's the warden, the person that leads that little army, whatever he was called, can then tell us where Yennefer is, who is our determined to be our love to be. So that's the question mark up there. I'm wondering whether to go up to that question mark. What? Why are people running away? Oh, running away from these wolves. We can get rid of these wolves, can't we? There we go. Why is the bestiality entry added? Oh, what was the, what was the addition? Wolves are scary. Is that the addition? Let's go up here, shall we? I want to see what this question mark is. I know I said we're going to go for the Griffin, which we definitely will. Oh, that doesn't take that long, to be fair. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was the first time I've received actual fall damage. We're going to have to go round and round again, aren't we? Okay, let's go up here. I want to see what that question... Uh, my question mark might just be... Uh, beast's nest, monster nest. It might not be. Am I weird? This is just a big cliff face here, isn't it? Uh, we're running all the way back down to really the battlefield here. Okay, here we go. We can get up. Can we get up here? No, we can't. And there's another guy here. No, another girl here, rather. There is a guy. Oh, we've seen him before. You recognise him? That was the guy that we let live. Yes, it is. This is their camp in the forest. Okie dokie. That's what that is. Can I ever get back up there? I don't think I can. It turns around here, and it's just consistently uphill. So let's just call my horse and count our losses. I'll hopefully Roach is down here, because of course he is. And hopefully we'll get out of here. 33 inner step distractions, so we're going to three inter three inner steps in this direction on our horse, which is about 100 gallops if we go full speed. Which are kind of not. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't jump down there. Come on. For some reason, whenever you end up going under, almost going over the cliff, the horse kind of stops quite a bit. Which maybe we shouldn't. Oh, this is where we started off as well. Let's see this. We're now riding down the route we started off. This is a nice way to end off, I suppose, because now we know this route. Now we know which way we're going. We're going straight to White Orchard, straight to Vesemir, and we're going to go do the Griffin contract. Are we going to get some food first? Uh, we're definitely going to heal up. That's definitely one thing we're going to have to do. Inventory. Hmm, maybe we should get something. Let's go over to him. Greetings. Oh, is that all? Okay, just greetings. Let me have a look okay. Start. We're going to sell these old swords away and use that money to hopefully get some food if he has any. What's that? Nope. Nope. Water. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty pointless stuff, isn't it, really? Yeah, this is all pretty pointless stuff. Let's grab one of his dwarven spirits. Maybe we can maybe we can craft a, a, a swallow. Take care. We'll craft a swallow. Alchemy. Swallow. I already have this item. How many do I already have as many as I need? How many do I have? Oh, I already have a bunch of this item. That's fine then, I guess. I'm going to consume some food to get my vitality up so I can heal. And we're going to go talk to Vethemir. Around here. Time to go. Oh, shall I actually sign this point as well? Yes. What is it, Wolf? Okay, about the Griffin. Been busy with the Griffin contract. And? Time to set a trap. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Okay. It's uh, 124 steps. Roach is on the way. Yeah, you. Yes. You need to be careful, you do. 
Is he just going to run there? Oh my word. Can we actually just gallop beside him? Why did, did he get his horse? Okay. Why did he say meet you there? We can just run there, you know. Come on, Vesemir. What's wrong with you? Come on. You're going to run over here. Yeah. And over to there. Why did you say meet you there? I've actually beat you to it. You can go over there, because sometimes the horse is a little bit annoying. A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Yep, sure. Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. What is that? Is that like a, a decoy? Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Care Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Care Morn. And if they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes, well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering... <laughs> You're just, they're just staring at the holes! There's just a hole right in front of them! Why are you standing there, Roach? Get out of the way! A big griffin just consumed a holes not too long ago. And he's just standing there. It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, wait this. A crossbow. This is what I might need it to, if there were drowners in the water. Want it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. Gambling well well. How about that? Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking, got a griffin to kill. Okay, this won't be that difficult. Essentially, we get his attention with the crossbow and whack him with our swords. Can I just uh, assign this though? Oh, bugger in hell. That was not helpful. Okay, now we need to get our, our uh, crossbow. Not that signs. Oh, bugger. Where are you? You're there. Not, this is not actually that easy with a controller. I realise. Okay. Come on. Oh, got him. I got him. I got him. A little bit of silence there while I was concentrating. Okay. It's fine. I can get, I can get rid of it. I can get away from him. Ooh, bugger in hell. He's just going to do a big slice, is he? Ooh, bugger in hell. Yes, it is fast. And he's riding straight near you. Okay, fair enough then. We can, we can do this. Maybe we can. Maybe we better roll, because he's using these big wings. Okay. Oh, bugger in hell. Vitality up, vitality up. Maybe go drink a swallow. Okay, there we go. Vitality's up now. Go press that button, press that button. Oh, did I get him then? Can't, I don't I got him then. I must have. He's now on the ground. Oh, 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 oh. Now he's in the air again. Where is he going? Where is he going? Up to that. We kind of chose this place out so that it wouldn't necessarily be too much of an issue, but it seems like he's going to go fly over to where there's a bloody windmill. Quite an ordinary looking windmill, actually. Come on. What is he doing? Is he feasting on something? Can we even get up this hill? Oh my word, horses, you need to leave. There's a griffin and he's probably going to come and kill you. Okay, Kokey. Oh, yes, he's going to be killing the horse. I can hear the horse. Let's get you, shall we? Surely that was enough to trigger it to stick, come down. Come on, come on, and... That was a pretty crap shot, really. I shouldn't have waited until it came that close to me. Should I, really? Come on. 
Oh, I did it. I did it. He's dead. Easy peasy ish. I mean, I did eat a lot of food. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve something. Things. For example, upward vertical strike. It's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Okay, I need to do the gruesome thing now. Where you... Come on. I have to grab my sword out. There it is. Loot. Griffin trophy. So now it's another trophy now. We can actually... I'm not sure what this one does actually. I think this one does more attack, but I can't remember. It's another trophy, essentially, like the like the necro, like the necro, the new wraith thing. See this one here actually attaches to my actual belt there, the actual head of the griffin does. So we're now going to ride off. Let's go see what that actually actually does now, shall we? First, what does that one actually do? It's over there. It's over down here. It does ten percent chance to dismember. Okay, so that means I can have more chance of taking someone's, you know. Hands off, head off. I gather it means head as well. We want to avoid this place because there's a, a wraith here that's like level 15 or something. <laughs> that's not a good situation to be in. We're not anywhere near high enough. Some hanged people for the cannibals to come and eat. And we go and ride sort of the way they came originally. Yes, it is actually the direction we came originally. But now this place seems all too familiar, doesn't it? And that's what happens in these games, especially open world games. When you spend long enough in them, things become all too familiar. And now we have to get up to here, and then he will go, Roach will go and meet up with his friends, probably, as per usual. Please be a little bit light on the scones, please. Okay, we're ready to talk. Tell me where Yennefer is. That was the guy earlier, wasn't it? What the hell is this? Why? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you'll never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, by the gods, no! It's only 50 lashes, could have hung you. Hmm. Can I ever tell whether it's angry or not? Can you? No more Captain Nice Guy. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? <laughs> A moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you got... Kill the Griffin. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. So she was really close. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Eh, uh, take the coin. Do that Griffin stuff was a lot of hassle. We'll take it. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're going to spaz out, probably. And if I run down here, we're probably going to slide. Nope, not, not today. He's not in a glitchy mood today, Geralt isn't. He's in a uh, run down the stairs like a normal human being mood, it seems. Okay, so we're now going to ride around here. And we're going to go back to the inn. Yes. Prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. And the horse does not want to go. Are we going... Wait. Yeah, I meant to go in that way. I said the lines kind of move occasionally. But yes, we are meant to go in that this way. I hope really don't see the drowners. There's a guarded treasure right to our right there where the drowners could come up. Pretty sure the drowners are only that level 2 or 3 though, but you know. 
We don't really need any treasure at this point. All we need at this point really is uh, Yennefer. Yennefer and then to go and find Ciri. Seems those are our priorities on our list. Oh, okay. We've stopped a little bit because the horse stamina. And people are tired. It's only 7 p.m. They do realise this, don't they? I guess they have been in the fields all day, so maybe that's part of it. Okie koki. So we're basically there now. It's around the corner, isn't it? Down here. And if we're careful. Oh my word. It's raining, it's pouring, yes. And we're spazzing out. We're... Oh, there's a big Z on this door. It's on purpose. And that cat's name is Cat. One of his good mates with horse. Who's a horse? Let's talk to Vesemir. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. Should we stay out of it? I'm not sure. Who? What happened to the lily? She said about the shield. Took him down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. She kind of got it though. I cannot show Tamerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials, you Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. I don't know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the god's wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt. Oh, okay. Adult word there. <laughs> Let me be! I guess we are interfering. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Really? Do we have to do this? And neither are you. They won't back down now. Oh, they're gonna die. They're all going to die. They're all easy to kill. Not, none of them have got shields. None of them know how to parry. They're all going to die. Only one that's any decent took about two hits rather than one. Right there, and we're going to chop his head off. <laughs> and it slides across the floor. And that girl's now scared. It's alright. It's over. What? He's not the best judge at the best of times, is he really? You've just slaughtered a room full of people. See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. Don't you realise how, how bad this actually was? So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Yep, I don't think we're going to have much choice the ball, you know. Look who's here. All the milk gods. That brawl? We didn't start it. And who's this? Who? Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. And this is Yennefer. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know 
me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Uh, why Vizima? And what's the rush? We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. I uh, wonder what he offered you. Suppose I can hear him out. Screw it. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovara will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaermore, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. What do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Okay, so time to go and ride. Come on, Roach. We've got things to do now. Places to see. People to ride alongside of. And he's got blood to wash off his clothes. A lot of blood. And then to hide the tracks from the guardians in Kenmore. Or oh, however they say that thing. That place that we started in the beginning in the Witcher Guild. That place. Can't have uh, anyone finding it really, can they? Hmm. He's still thinking about it. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. Who? Oh, it started again. It's all snowy again. It's snow. Oh, snow is the wild hunt, isn't it? It's the embers of stuff. I see. We're gonna have to do some fast riding, aren't we now? This is all a cutscene, by the way. At this point, so I'm not doing anything now. It looks like they are taking the men one by one. Oh, it's taking him. He is probably gonna be dead. And they're after Yennefer. I believe. I gather after Yennefer, maybe both. Both might be an idea, but definitely Yennefer. And now this is this is now in game. Looks, looks like more. She's going to blow the bridge up. Yes, yes. Again, this is all cutscene, by the way. I'm not actually doing anything here, Gallo, because you could easily fail this bit if you weren't fast enough. And there is our ending place. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Okay. So, we're going to cut over to that, aren't we, I think? Over to Vizima. And like the beginning of the game, there's more washing of Geralt by women this time, though. 
I don't know whether or not I need to put a box over there. I'm pretty sure I didn't, I didn't see anything. I didn't see uh, his downstairs. I'm going to put a box over it either way. Maybe because it would be funny that way. Mm. You know. It must suffice. What? He's got a bruise as well on his back. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Okay, and we have to uh, observe. Catwin, we shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an we inch. We have to observe the uh, NVIDIA gleam and shine physics. Okay, so all my beard or fine. Fine. Then what? Gonna do my nails too? If time permits. Sadly, the day is short. While the list of hygienic and cosmetic treatments that the gentleman should undergo is really rather long. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. Okay. Easy enough. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? He looks a bit sad. No. Morvran Vorius, commander of the Albert Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. All of them. Indeed, were, for none have returned to visit, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And, uh, Razor. You have men dying in battle as soldiers do. Wild Hunt killed them. Wild Hunt. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. He does not look happy. But then again, does he ever look happy? Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Oh, my lord. These look disgusting. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay, so we've got to either choose between a quite disgusting overcoat with stripes, a Nancy kind of over under frilly thing with stripes, or a sort of bigger suit with stripes. So stripes are always on the table. My choices are really between this one and that one. Cause a girl would not look right on that one. And for that reason I'm probably going to choose that one. Okay. Let's grab all of those. And I'm meant to actually go to my inventory now. And actually dress myself. Like so. Oh I get the towel. Okay, two armor for a towel. Can I can I wear a towel and wear can I go back to wearing just a towel? Is that a thing that I can do? I didn't even know that. Okay. I didn't try last time whether or not you could actually go back as well as forward. We'll stick with this then. Okay. And they say clothes do not make the man. 
Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Suppose. A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Uh, uh, confirm away, I guess. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember what he said. What did he say? Is that one? Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Okay. I'm not sure if I, if I get the choice. I will actually bow. Because it looks so disgusting. The Emperor only when asked to, and you need the appropriate time. Oh, wow, look at this place. Arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Okay, fair enough then. Let's have a look at the end, shall we? Why well, did everyone turn around? Grimmy at Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. I bow before no man. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. A valiant namen vat gern favort. Okay, not sure what, well, I'm sure what they say because they read the subtitles, but, you know, I don't know why they don't speak in the normal language. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. Know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. And he's the white wolf. That's, that's quite funny. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Surila, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. So he believes in them. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Okay, why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. I doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Okay, need more information? I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Take him to Yennefer, I gather. Seems that way, doesn't it? Fade to black and... That said, then, really. Did the gentleman not understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Relax. I don't care. To the gentleman. 
but I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. There are not breaches of etiquette for one day. I don't bow for nobody. I really, really don't. And this episode's going to be a bit longer. I do realise this. But we're going to go and at least get to a point when in which I can sort of move around a bit more. Which is going to be Yennefer's chamber. It's probably going to be a bit of that set. It's probably a section when we're going to end this off. So it's around the corner anyway. It's not too far away. So. We get to explore this gorgeous castle. Gorgeous in sort of computer graphical terms and in very much so sort of filmic video gaming layouts he makes us walk all the way around this place it's quite nice though isn't it and they are able to show off the uh, the physics quite a bit okay so we're going to end this episode off here so please click on, click on the links to let link us to my video the my channel rather, which is more critical cat content. So if you want to see more of me, then go over to that one. It does do have let's plays on there now. And on the other side is the next Witcher episode. So if you want to see the next one and it's out, you can go click on it. Otherwise please rate, comment and subscribe to Aerial Heights. And that is everything I'm gonna say right now. So see you next time. Goodbye.